Good evening, fellow degenerates. Mickey D here. As sick as a small hospital the last couple of days. Uh, in me dressing gown, in me kitchen, New Year's Eve, not feeling great. Must have picked up that fucking bug, virus, whatever the fuck you call it. Uh, when I was socialising on Monday, I'm just out of bed for the first time since Wednesday afternoon. Um, desperate headaches, and I never thought a man could sweat as much as I did the last two nights. Um, sheets are ringing, anyway. But uh, don't know video to see the last couple of years, and I wouldn't mind a couple of horses that I had. Uh, I didn't see any race or results yesterday, but I looked at them there just a while ago. And I seen that black line one yesterday and I was going to tip him up after I'm doing us a good turn uh, the previous uh, run. And uh, he was up against a lesser field yesterday, even though they were younger. There were a load of mules in it. And uh, I had a bet on him, but I didn't know until uh, today that he had won. I didn't see the race yet, I'd just seen the result. And in Rim won today as well, I was going to tip that up. That one uh, had done a turn for us uh, um, two runs back, and which was... Uh, I mentioned it the last one, but I didn't put it up because it's too short. I was up twenty eight pound uh, going into today's race, but he's uh, he's a nice little horse. Um, so anyway, I didn't want to let tomorrow because I got the the old tracker emails, Inca Prince, our little Daisy from a couple of weeks ago in Catterick, is out tomorrow in the first race in uh, Musselburgh. Um, I think it's a seventy two shot. I got a text message there, uh, third favorite. Uh, front running track, Musselboro. I think if it goes out in front, it could be hard stopped. Um, I think it's the first timer of uh, Nichols and uh, Donald McCain has won there as well. But uh, just I was impressed with uh, how, how neatly Inca Prince jumped and, and the last day and uh, went well. Um, actually, this, this race uh, has special significance as well for me because... Um, this race, meeting used to be, uh, and this race used to be on the 29th of uh, December. And in 1998, Christmas night, I got a phone call from a friend of mine. Uh, there was no mobiles that time, it was in my home, uh, my parents' home place. And he just said, have powder ready for the 20th, 29th. And he wasn't on about talcum powder. He was on about the, 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 the money. So uh, it so happened that we us to always go to Leprestown on the fourth day. That was Lexus day, I think, that time, fourth day. Um, I went on a minibus from an Oakland pub. Uh, there was 14 or 15 of us. So I was telling them on the way up about, now a few of them would have known me that I'd, I'd know about horses, but a few of them wouldn't have known anything about me at all. The new coming home. But... Um, we got on this horse as uh, opened up eight to one, two hundred each way, out to tens, done the same. Uh, and they were looking at me, they were saying, like, why is this not uh, being backed? So the next thing, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, hosed up, one by nine lengths, I think. Beat the favourites. We got the forecast as well, I paid thirteen pounds. This was pounds now as well, it wasn't euros, it was right currency. But JT McNamara won four races riding for Ferdy Murphy. Ferdy trained that horse actually. Um, and the, it was owned by a publican in London and he still had 1100 sterling in his, in, with him and his gang uh, that they didn't get on before the race it went off that fast um, and they had, a, oh, they had a great touch but uh, we all got on bare two in the minibus and uh, for, uh, JT won four uh, races that day for Faraday I think I had nine winners out of ten it was one of those days when everything goes right so we absolutely bashed them Kicked them in the nuts, kicked them in the bollocks, kicked them up the hole, kicked them down the garden path and kicked them up the road in front of us that day. But over 10,000 between the lot of us coming home in the minibus anyway. I didn't get home until 20 past nine the next morning. Finished up at a 40th of a mate of mine, beyond in Charlestown, who had been very sick all summer in uh, hospital with eye cancer. So we celebrated his uh, 40th well into the night. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us either. I had come back to catch him again. But uh, with a great night. Uh, so that race tomorrow, I'm not saying I'll be lumping on the same way as I did uh, that time, but uh, I'm going to have a few quid on, uh, on uh, Inca Prince tomorrow, without a doubt. There's two more that cropped up in the emails from my tracker. Um, one is, uh, oh yeah, Nathaniel's Dream. Um, 
Tony Merton, it's in the 130 at Fairy House. I put it down uh, sort of the tracker as one to keep an eye on when it stepped up in distance. It's up to three miles tomorrow for the first time. It's only rated 95 or 6. It was rated 60, 62 on the flat. So it's nicely handicapped. Tony Merton, uh, done us a great turn the other day. Actually, we had good time, Johnny. Um, that was a grand 9 to 1 winner. 10 cents reduction, which is still great. And uh, we're in hard luck with Belgo Prince at 25 the first day. So this is sort of the same profile horse. He was 6th of 18 or 19 or something the last day. And uh, he's out in Nathaniel. One might have been a cut on the ground. Brian Cooper um, down to ride him. Um, I don't know how price he is. Uh, I, I, I didn't look at prices. Uh, they weren't up there when I, when I got up. Um, and the other one then is... Uh, what was the other one I had picked? Oh, yeah. Um, Grand Paradis. It's in the beginner's chase. It's up against the Mullins uh, hot pot, but it's an eight-year-old. That's the first time, only his second or third lifetime start. But Grand Perdy fell the last day, but was in the Drinmore. It had been jumping quite well, and uh, kept gentlemen fell in front of it, uh, two out or three out, and then it was pulled up. So uh, it had jumped great up to then, it had jumped the ditches great. This York has a good engine, it's only a five-year-old. Um, it's second favourite, I think my turn over the five, I'll be hoping. Um, and... Uh, and each way bet at um, the two o'clock at um, Cheltenham. I thought Vienna Court, even though it's gone up twelve pound, um, when it stepped up a distance the last day at Cheltenham to two four, and eroded from the back, and there's plenty of speed up front again tomorrow. That um, that was the right tactics, and if they do the same tomorrow, um, it's a ten to one shot. Uh, a lot of bookies are paying five places. I think it's a live each way chance. I always like to give a live each way. So that's me. I'm back to bed in five minutes and I'll see you at some time again soon. Happy Christmas or Happy New Year to all of you anyway. And uh, I hope we might get a winner or two tomorrow. Happy New Year and see you soon. Keep bashing those bookies.